Hi, I'm Wesley Cananair. I'm AJ's performance chef. And tonight we're going to be making a steak with some potatoes, courgettes and broccoli with a green leaf salad. This meal will be given tonight after the weigh-in. We're most, mostly going to focus on uh, having a high carb intake for tonight because uh, this will help give them all these nutrients and the meat is just going to be there just for flavour and taste. If it's having a lighter training session, um, we're not going to focus too much on heavy carbs and a lighter meal throughout the day. If it's a rest day as well, a lot less uh, meals and less snacks throughout the day. How many calories does AJ sort of hit, do you think, a day when he's in camping training? I think we're consuming around 5,000, 5,000, 5,500. I think it's essential because he's got to have He's going to maintain that weight, so he's not going to drop weight and he's not really going to gain weight because he trains so hard. It's just more of just fueling the body to perform so it's going to prevent muscle damage and prepare for when the fight happens. What we buy in the shop now and how farms are being made to produce food at such vast quantities, I think it's so important that you eat more organic, we eat more organic, we source local and we can buy food that isn't produced for us, it's kind of made for us from the earth from the sea. So if we're in camp, we try and source food from the coasts. And where we're located in camp, whether it's abroad or it's in England, uh, we'll source foods that are local from farmers, um, where we know that not many pesticides, not many things have been added to the food, so it's as natural as possible. And then this will then be better for him when he intakes it into his body. Since working with him, I think that he's definitely one of the most disciplined athletes I've worked with recently. Um, you're right, he can, if he wanted to, he could slack off and have those cheat days, but um, since working with him, I've realised that that's not him. So, in order to be able to give him those little sweet tooth, those items that he might want to have, uh, in the camp of him making um, coconut breads, carrot cakes, and muffins that have uh, reduced, reduced sugar, and then have a protein powder then put through them, so then this can be his like, treat for the day. Every client, um, I think there's always like a grace period of a few weeks where you've got to both kind of get on with each other and see where what foods kind of like hit hit the mark. So there's going to be dishes that I know he's probably not enjoyed what he's ate just because he needs to get the fuel into him. But then after the first few weeks, you kind of understand what he likes, what kind of come back comes back on his plate as well. So in a normal camp, when we've been back in London, we're looking at five meals a day. So it consists of breakfast. Um, a snack to take with training, which he'll then consume uh, while he's training, and probably eat him back on the way on the car. And then, as soon as he arrives back, he'll have lunch, um, probably a rest in the afternoon, or th the physio may come and visit. And then he'll go back out to training again with another, um, let's say, lunch box um, of snacks. It might contain uh, a raw egg shake, so it might have like pineapple, apples, um, some cashew nuts maybe about five to six eggs. And then when he comes back, he'll have another evening meal. Um, no, he's not had any input, but the one thing I do need to make uh, is his mum's famous uh, red sauce from Nigeria. Um, it's like, if we're having chicken or any type of meat, um, this red sauce recipe has to be made for him to have on the side. His go-to in the morning for breakfast is scrambled eggs. And scrambled eggs will be chopped with like finely diced shallots, um, We'll add a little bit of a scotch bonnet chilli in there. And then to finish it, we'll, have, um, we'll add aromat or all-purpose seasoning. And that's just something his mum's always given us as a kid. So those home comforts, I think, you know, you've got to kind of keep there. You can't kind of take away. So we work around it. I've always liked cooking. When I was younger, I think it's one of those things that in the household, especially in like Caribbean households, you always have kitchens. Everyone's always in the kitchen cooking, talking. And as a kid, I was always brought up around that. So um, when I was younger, I went to college, uh, did my first year, and then decided to leave. And then I ended up in London for there for maybe eight years now, nine years, working in good hotels and restaurants. I went back to Leicester for a few years. Um, and I worked in a mission star for four years, which is really good. Uh, taught me discipline, taught me how to cook properly and how timings and how you present yourself is so important. Yeah, I think the pressure's on um, because this is my first uh, athlete that works themselves, that is themselves, is the main product. Working with a football team, you have everything there. You have a nutritionist, you have the kit man, you have 
uh, you know, the manager, everything like that. It's a whole team where AJ is the product. It's just a one team. It's one guy with a team of people around him. And he's the one guy who's got to go and perform and do it on his own. So uh, taking this job, it's been interesting to see how one man can pull, off, pull this off. How nervous were you, or maybe not, when it came to cooking AJ's first, first meal? So um, I arrived in the morning, it was really early, I think it was about six o'clock in the morning, and the, uh, the old chef was uh, passing over all the notes and then he was flying out. So uh, we had to make, again it was started with eggs, scrambled eggs with uh, diced shallot, diced uh, scotch bonnet pepper, a little bit of all-purpose seasoning, and then we added um, some boiled um, white sweet potatoes, um, avocado, spinach, followed by um, porridge. So porridge with the bananas mashed into it, some cinnamon, cinnamon and we also did a fruit bowl, a fruit and yogurt bowl. But um, the thing was, it wasn't it wasn't the food I was too nervous about. It was his entrance into the kitchen. So he came in and he introduced himself as a like, hi, I'm Anthony, and he was wearing this long black. Um, like sports coat and I was like okay I've met him now that's it okay it is him I'm cooking for he likes a medium well which is a shame because we we source all this beautiful produce <laughs> and for me I think it should be medium rare but you know you like you can only eat what you like so AJ will obviously be back pretty sharpish from the weigh-in um, we'll get out of here and let you finish off the meal uh, if you could just again round off what you've cooked for him uh, ahead of what is a massive day tomorrow. So we're having tonight, um, we're having steaks with um, some boiled potatoes and some herbs. Then we've got some courgettes, some broccoli and some fine beans, um, which is going to be for his meal. And then after for a little snack, we've got the protein bar with dates and a mixture of nuts.